what's going on guys welcome back again to this video today we're doing over the wire as we used to as we used to do and um today's level will be 21 so we need to pass to level 21 so basically to do that we're going to grab the url of the level 20 since we passed level 20 before i'm gonna go ahead and see what it has for us. So I'm gonna sign in because I have saved credentials from before. And now we're logged in, as you can see, to Natas 20. We have got access to Natas 20. We want to move to Natas 21. All right. So as you know, guys, these are a collection of application set challenges. So if you want to strengthen your knowledge or strengthen yourself in the area of application penetration testing. I advise you to go back and watch all of the walkthroughs I did for Natas, starting from level 0 all the way to level 20. And we're going to complete all the levels as uh, we progress through these challenges. Okay, so let's read through the description of this challenge. You are logged in as a regular user, log in as an admin to retrieve credentials for Natas 21. So you might think, oh, this is so simple. Let's go ahead and type admin to log in so the button here does nothing you just click on the button and it does nothing if we go we go to view the source code and here we got a long bit of code so what matters for us is this if you scroll down we can see this here set save uh, session set save handler okay and it contains these values and these values correspond to be values to call functions so, so if you check my open it calls the function my open here and there is a comment we don't need this so i'm gonna ignore this my close go check my close it's also commented as we don't need this. Let's focus on these two functions, my read and my write. If you go to my read, it is setting up the parameters for the cookie or session, and then we have my write. The my write saves the values of the session IDs, as you can see, as key and value pairs. And then they are saved in a file name, the same file name used for generating the cookie key and value all right and based on that as you can see the contents is put in the file name and data so they are as you can see key and value pairs the session id and the value of it this could be like the username and its session id like admin and its session id or user and its session id could be something like that but most importantly to take away from this is that the um, the values are saved in a file name file and as key value if you scroll up to the important functions in this code which is print credentials now this is the condition that if we are able to bypass okay or meet we're going to be able to log in as an admin and retrieve the credentials so the conditions are to con uh, the session id needs to contain the value of admin and one so admin in the session needs to exist and session admin okay equal to one so it looks like we need to send admin and one okay admin like this admin and one that's what needs to be sent to the application to pass this uh, challenge so admin as the key value so it will be admin here is the key and the value as you can see is retrieved using the admin index equal to one so admin one that is what needs to be sent to retrieve the credentials how are we going to do that first we're going to enable the debug obviously it will be it will be beneficial if we enable the debug to get as much information as possible 
So we're going to go back and make sure perp suite is on. Let's enter a username such as an admin. And we pass the name. All right. So here we go. In the name field, we're going to have to pass the payload or the input. But first, we have to enable the debug. So question mark debug after the index. And then in admin here, we're going to have to use a new line because we want the payload that we're going to send to be entered in the file in a new line. Okay. Because key values are formatted in, a, in the file as there is a new line. So new line is the separator between the val between the entries. So we have to use a new line here. We're not going to use backslash in because it's not going to be interpreted as backslash in here. So we're going to use the URL encoding for this. So percentage sign 0a for the backslash n. And then we send the expected input to pass the if statement. So admin, and then we have a space which is encoded in the URL as two percent sign 20. Okay, and then we send one. Let's see if this works. Okay. So these are the debug information name set to admin, admin one. You are logged in as a regular user. Somehow it didn't work. Let's go back to the request one more time. Okay, something weird is happening. Turn on, change name. All right. Let's see. Gonna take this. Supply it one more time. So it looks like we need to change something here in the request. So how about if we try get, because we want to retrieve information from the file that contains the cookies or the password. Gonna enable debug, and then we send. So as you can see now, it worked. And right now we have the username and the password for this level. If you look closely at the URL, you can see guys that the debug indeed was enabled and the name contained the admin and then a new line followed by admin space one. That's what we sent in the request in Perp Suite. So let's try now to log in with the, to the new challenge with this password. First, let's copy the URL. And we are logged in as Natas21. So right now we are level 21. That was it guys, we're gonna do that in the next videos, so see you later.